Courtney Pollock was really considered the master and the godfather of modern tie-dye. Bob Weir picked him up hitchhiking in 1970 and brought him back to Olam Pali, which is where they were all living and partying at the time. He showed them his work. And Courtney will tell you that his approach to tie-dye uh, was based on his training with origami. So all these are made with sort of origami folding techniques and then dyed. And not only did he do the vast majority of the tie-dyes that you ever saw on stage with the Grateful Dead, but he used to hang this stuff all by himself, would, would hang these giant backdrops. Really an amazing guy, just a wonderful, wonderful human being. He is still making tie-dyes at the absolute highest level today. I still think that his work is the best available. Some of these pieces were made around 2008, 2009. I love the stuff from this era. And this is a piece that I had museum stretch where it stretched a certain way over this framework. And as the light comes through it from the backside, it's, it's, it's a whole other thing. It almost looks like stained glass. You see all kinds of crazy creatures and images and elements within these, within these pieces. And if you notice the, the color and the detail in these is just unbelievable. Something that I think is very significant is I believe that Courtney Pollock is the most imitated and most influential artist of our time. And he's not recognized for it. The tie-dyes that you see today that have become mainstream are directly related to the tie-dyes that were made for the Grateful Dead. Courtney introduced the Grateful Dead to his work. They loved it. They utilized it. It was then imitated by the fan base. And for the longest time, if you saw somebody wearing a tie-dye, you knew they were a deadhead. Over time, tie-dye became mainstream because of all the deadheads wearing it. People started to sort of dig that artwork. To me, every tie-dye that you see, it doesn't take a lot of connecting the dots to get that stuff back to Courtney. And I don't know of any artist in this era who has been even remotely that influential. Their artwork just becomes a part of mainstream America. Mm -hmm.